koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa and welcome to the finals of the New Zealand Secondary Schools Badminton for the Girls Division 1. Um, you are being hosted by myself, ko Reina Tuina Tūnei Fō Toku Ingoa and I am here with the kaitaki, the captains of our two teams today. So we have Josephine from McLean's with me and we have Amy from Palmerston North High School. I was going to say New Plymouth but very different, very different. So anyway, we are here for the finals and it is going to be an exciting match, I feel it. Now, girls, please, please help me out. You know, I'm a retired woman. I am, um, I am fairly old. How have you been looking after your bodies? How have your teams been trying to rest and make sure that for this whole week long tournament, you're staying and taking care of yourself? What are your tips, Josephine? I think like everyone in our team has been like sleeping early and like just generally eating and like taking their meals at the right time and everything. Mm, Kai and sleep is very important. And what about you, Amy? Do you have, I mean, you're the more senior one here, you know, a bit more senior. What have you been doing and what is your team's tactics? You know, just like the sleep, good meals, and also we had a team yoga session on the first night we came. So I think team bonding for sure. Yeah, and just stretching after our games as well. Oh, the whole order is rich here. Love it. Well, thank you, girls. All the best for your games. I am very excited to be commentating alongside my friend Justine Villegas. But other than that, all the best. Go well. And we're going to go check out the scores and the lineup with Justine now. Thank you, thank you, Reina, and thank you, girls, for those insights on recovering well throughout the week. So today we have McLean's College and Palmerston North Girls High. And here we have the lineup on our screen. We can see we have Melody, Rosie, Alicia, Josephine, and Mia. It's a very, very strong team, actually. It's full of representatives, New Zealand representatives and top yes. juniors on the team. So they are very, very much in favor to get the gold did today. you did you mention that they're all year nine that's crazy how young they are right i know all juniors yeah. all juniors all juniors and the team lineup for the palmerston north girls high is isabella chen yu tong ma amy and phoebe and they are also i think um they're a mixture the mixture of yeah we've got reps oh really maybe oh this is exciting <laughs> yeah. this is exciting we've got two year 13s a year 12 and a year 10. Yeah. That's a good mix. Good mix. It is a good mix. Mixed. Mix. <laughs> There's no mixed here. No, sorry, sorry. No wahine tane here. <laughs> yeah. But today our lineup, there will be two doubles and four singles being played on this stream court. And our doubles too will be played by Melody and Alicia representing McLean's and Yu Tong Ma and Phoebe Young representing Palmerston North Girls High School going forward. And the rest of the doubles, singles... Four singles mm, mm, mm. will be covered later. Yes, yes. It will be very, very cool. Um, and now, so we've got our McLean's girls, and actually their, their, their brother couple, their brother team, um, actually just solidified a bronze medal in the boys' division. That they is did. huge. And so now the girls... They're playing off for a gold or a silver. silver. Yeah, so they've already won up no matter what, the boys. I love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> up the girls. <laughs> up the girls. YTG. <laughs> yeah, the girls. Yeah, the girls. <laughs> but here we have Melody and Alicia from McLean's just getting ready. Have just finished their um, their warm-ups, their fucker mahana, um, and just taking off their track pants. Heading over to our other court side, representing Palmerston North, we have Yu Tong Ma and Phoebe Young. This is going to be exciting. I need to remember, is Palmerston North not New Plymouth? <laughs> Nor is it Burnside. Burnside doesn't even have a team this year. <laughs> Burnside, I miss you. You and your green singlets. All right, so we're about to start the first Game of the tie. Of the first match. The first match. Finals is on the way. The Hickle Hall, let's go. Nice. Well done. Server, server, one love. I, do, I, do, I must say, I do like the shoes of, um, of um, is it Melody? No, am I on the wrong team? I'm on the wrong team. Of Yutong. I love Yutong shoes. Yes. 
Shout Funny you Yonex. say that. They're all actually the same model, just different colors. Wow, are you sponsored by Yonex? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Yonex. <laughs> but also shout out to um, our sponsors for um, the New Zealand Secondary Schools um, tour at the moment, which is Caltex, who has sponsored our Caltex um, Good Sports Award that we'll be presenting soon. Apollo Projects, Bailey's, New Very Zealand fun. Carbon Farming, and our host for Katamari and Badminton New Zealand. It is awesome to have your support to make this week happen for our rangatahi. Ooh, oh, that was very nice though. They're about to follow it in. Yep, so the McLeans is actually filled with top, top juniors. And it's really cool that they can play and compete against the year 13s, you know, year 12, year 10. That w that's what makes this competition so good. Yes. It's just not limited to age and region. Mm, 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 mm. Do you also know um, if you're looking at what they do for their free time, this is how you can tell that they're in year nine? Because yeah. their favorite thing, at, well, for Alicia is TikTok. Service Watching TikTok. Yeah. Seven. I like to TikTok and I like to. No, I'm kidding. We're done. <laughs> do you have TikTok? Um, over not since um, lockdown has been let out. <laughs> So my TikTok time was ridiculous <laughs> during lockdown. I actually had to delete it because the algorithm mm. is just too good. It knows me too well and yeah. I get stuck on it for hours and I yeah. have zero self-control. Exactly. Yeah. So I actually had to delete it. That's good. Um, good discipline from you though. Good <laughs> oh, nice maneuvering there by Phoebe. Ready, ready. Ooh. Oh, well placed down the middle there. <laughs> well placed Tuki. I feel like Puki attack is only as effective as where you play it and the placing of it. Outside. Wahoo, that's two. just long. Nice clear. Ooh. Oh. Yes, Yukong. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh. Wow, that is right. out. Oh, nice. Oh. Beautiful from Yutong there. Just Four seeing the ten. gap and playing into it. Kaapai. Looking very comfortable from McLean's. Yes, heading into the first Haurua Tonga for um, the game. 11-4, um, the juniors leading it comfortably. They've been very good on just um, knowing what to play, talking to each other, eh? Mm. Would you say they probably play quite a lot in um, their regional slash club teams? I don't know if they play together, mm -hmm. but they... I have a feeling they're both from Auckland. Mm, mm. So they most likely train together yes, and just yeah. know each other. And they're probably, you know, play each other against each other very, very often yes. since they're all in the same age groups, yes. seeing they're all in year nine. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so cute because looking at uh, how long they've been playing badminton, it looks like they've about, they've started about the same time. Oh. So under 13s, if not more. Oh, more than under 13. Some have been playing for five to six years. Oh, nice, Yutong. The kaha from that panhandle, my fellow panhandler. <laughs> let's go, sis, let's go. Good. Yes, follow it in. Follow it in. Oh, ready. Oh, the kaupare. Oh, good moving, good moving. The attack from McLean's. Oh, good net drop. And right. we have a waho outside so call. Over five, 12. Serena? Yes. 
Uh, yes, Justine. Have you noticed anything today? Is there a left hander on court? <laughs> yeah. Where? Oh, there, Phoebe. So, the so I tricked you. I was actually, I, but I mentioned the panhandle. <laughs> That's a finer detail than left hand. So that means uh, oh, it shouldn't be hard to miss them that she's a left hander. Um, that Phoebe's a left hander. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was just letting you make that um, observation. Of course. Yeah, just of need course. to share the load. True. Didn't want to take all the mahi. Oh, the ma tira tira saying no. Good serve from Phoebe. And well left by Yukon. <laughs> Eight, four, it's great to see that these girls are having fun. A lot of smiles yeah. on their faces. Yeah. Very, very good vibes here we have in Teora Paraha Arena. And I just want to have a shout out to the Teora Te. Rapraha Arena mm. staff, they have been so, so good. So good. They've really made it easy to run the tournament yeah. here at this er their arena. Yeah, they've been awesome. Big thank you to the Seven events team. Eight. Oh, nice. Yes, the kaupare. the rate this is going, it looks like McLean's is going to put the first point on the board. But we can't can't put it aside the promising North Girls High, you know, maybe they could just be a little bit shaky at the start. Mm -mm -mm. Oh nice. This is a good rally. It is Waffle. Good rally. and can you see if you're watching at home, how it's a very different, um, I guess, really that you're, we've been seeing this morning in the, the boys' doubles. doubles. Yes. Yeah. And we now have our first game point. Good. Oh, 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 just wide. But the perfect shot placement there from um, Yu Tong. And we head into um, our first changeover 21 9. Yep, and now we have a 60 second break. 60, two minutes. 60, two minutes. Two minutes is, oh sorry, two minutes. I uh, stand corrected because this is the game over. <laughs> 60 seconds is when it is between 11, yes, the 11 interval. Do you know what I love? So Alicia was on um, the side of McLean's who just took out that first game, and her special shout out is to her cat. Xiaohei. <laughs> so, Xiaohei, if you are listening, meow. <laughs> 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 we love um, um, little um, little pals all around. We Alcala. have little pals. Yes. You have a little pal. I do. I have a Adorable kuri. Adorable Millie. I have a little kuri at home, as do you and your Fano. Yeah. What's your one? Booper. Bopper. Bopper. Shout out to Buffer. Yeah, shout out to Buffer and Millie. Millie. Yeah, yeah. We miss you. We miss you. But it's okay. Our parents are giving us live updates yes, on the daily. We are getting selfies galore from um, our, our parents. All right, second game underway. Level. Wahoo, just wide, just wide. Oh, nice. The kaha of the left hand. Oh, 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 there was some good variation though. Good variation from Phoebe. Yes. Yes, the panhandle. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Oh, nice control from McLean's. Wow, beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Three love. 
That was very brave of Phoebe to play it back, but McLean's was just ready on the net. Superbly played. You really can't afford to um, give too much height at the net in doubles, eh? No, especially if there is always going to be one person hunting the front, you know? It's not like in singles where you have to cover the whole court, so it's not often you're hunting the net, but mm. in doubles, you don't have to worry about the back so much if someone else is covering it for you. <laughs> exactly. Strong lead and start from McLean's here in the first game, or sorry, second game of the first match of this finals for Division 1 in our girls section. Yeah, but it's really important to not feel so discouraged when there's such a massive lead like this. Mm -mm -mm. Just, oof. Mm. Great Pookie. But McLean's is just looking very, very solid right now. Yes. Just a mixture of the um, hotu and the um, kaha, the strength and the um, control that they have, as well as just the movement. Hey, they're moving really well as um, a, a kappa, as a team on court. Exactly. And they're using the correct shot choices. Mm. Rotation is very good. That was actually Phoebe went in for a very nice little chisel there. Just unfortunate that it didn't quite go over the Matera Tera, but I look forward to seeing the so other chisels she's going to bring into ten. this um, game. Is she going to be playing singles? Because that looked like Ooh, a very oh. single shot. <laughs> Surely. Oh yeah, she's on for girls singles three. She'll be playing against Mia. We head into the Haurua Tanga 11-1 with McLean's quite comfortable in their, um, in their lead. And what would you be saying as the coach for um, Palmerston North girls? Obviously, this is a very, very tough match. What would yep. you say just to pick, pick, pick their spirits up, Justin? Honestly, I would tell them to forget about the score, you know, because yep. right now I think they're definitely trying to make it too tight for them, you know, trying too hard to get to lines. But I'll just have fun. Yeah. This is an opportunity to play against these New Zealand reps and just enjoy it and keep mm, it simple, mm, really. Mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, go to Ewa, thank you. Well, it's actually, um, Palmerston North Girls is one of the few teams that have a dedicated coaching staff. That's true, because oftentimes we, from the, so far from the streams, it's just been students, yeah. fellow students that have gone up and yes. coached them. Well moved there by McLean. Not Ooh. Oh, that was so good. That little cheeky work <laughs> from you, Tom. The intention was there. Yeah, beautiful intention. Nice. Yes. Oh, the kaupare. Yes. Oh. <gasps> Finished off beautifully. Beautifully. Beautifully <laughs> by Phoebe. Well done, girls. Well done. They're definitely fighting, and I love to see it. Even though they are trailing, yeah. they are fighting. Carpi, girls. Carpi. Phoebe used to do swimming for six years. Ah, that's where the um, smash came from. It was the butterfly. The butterfly. <laughs> What about the freestyle? It was actually, I think, the backstroke. The backstroke. The backstroke is the backhand. Going backhand. <laughs> the backhand clear. Yeah. Oh. 
And I'm sure um, the kick, the kicking form that's needed for the I stroke. I love that, that you're trying. Yeah, that, that must be that must be so helpful for um, the split step. You know, just the ability to that, that explosive leg movement. What do you think would be the most common injury in swimming? Because there's no stress on the on the joints because you're in the water. Yeah, actually, I just because I mean I've I've gone back into swimming very casually because it is it's very good for rehab. Are you in the fast lane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the um, aqua jogging lane. <laughs> no, but it's very good um, for on the joints. Yeah. Um, but I'd say it is the biggest thing is just trying not to get sick because it is very like genuinely true, you're true. Uh, it's just obviously water especially through um, our colder months is quite hard to um, protect your whole water your health. Nineteen four lead by McLean's in this first match of the finals. Yeah, very well taken there by McLean's. Oh, oh, but her fingers on the rakete, but that is okay. The rakete is safe. In match, we have it 21 4 taken out by McLean's in this opening match. Stay tuned, take a little break, go to the Fare Paku, grab a tea, and we'll catch you for our first rank girls' doubles right after the break. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. This isn't about what we wore back in the day. Going twice, number offers. Scored! It's about being trusted to get a better result for our clients since 1973. Ete Iwi, the Kumara Avengers are here. <laughs> Keeping Kumara farm safe everywhere. Tino Loinga Tutai Manu Okone. Te Pamu Kumara. Streaming now only on Māori Plus.
Kia ora te iwi and welcome back. We have the exciting honour of hosting the finals of the Girls Division Nationals um, here in Porirua. Now we have McLean's College who just took out the first match to get their first point of one on the board up against their opponents, Palmerston North Girls. Now looking forward, we will just be about to be going into the number one doubles of Rosie Young, Josephine Zhao from um, McLean against Isabella Chen and Amy Su. And then that will be followed by our number four singles, number three, number two, and number one. But here, if we go to our players now, they're just finishing up their whakamahana, their warm up. Our umpire is just getting ready to kick start the second of our matches here today. This afternoon in session four, our final session for um, what's been an awesome week of um, Pukara. Isn't that right, Justine? Now you've been here since Monday. Saturday. Saturday? Oh, you did, you did <laughs> set up. You did yes. set up on Saturday, yes. But um, how has it been being able to watch the whole week of Babington? It's been so good and honestly, Talking to the kids as well, it's great to see that they're enjoying it. And yeah. it's funny talking to them. And I ask them, like, what has been the highlight? Yeah. And everyone's highlight is, oh, I just love being away. <laughs> 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 Traveling with the team. But that's yeah. actually a common answer as well yeah. from both teachers yeah. and students. Yeah, and definitely. I think you said that when I asked you mm -hmm. what your highlight was when you played this tournament. Yeah, my highlight was pasta and Nutella for dinner because we were left to make our own kai. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yes, the travelling component is is definitely awesome. So we have um, Palmerston North girls who obviously just a little drive down from Manawatu to um, Poriroa here. And if you don't know where Poriroa is, it's just north of Te Whanganui Atara, um, our capital city of Wellington. And then McLean's who are based out of Tamaki Makaurau. So a bit of a longer travel for them down in the plain. Unless they did the, the, the drive, but I'm sure they, they just prefer to fly over the motu than drive through it. I think anyone would prefer to fly, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> right, love all. Here we go. Oh, yes, the kaha. Oh, and we have a fault, a hapa. So you are only allowed to hit the shuttle once as a team. And if the... There is a double hit, that is a fault, and that is Hapa, a fault. Oh, nice. Yes, good communication there, good comms. Ooh, oh, nice scrambling. <gasps> nice kaupare! And it pays off, Tapai girls. So, we're from Palmerston North, we have Isabella, who is in year, or we both have our two year 13, so Isabella, and her shout out is to her family for always being supportive, love that, and then Amy Sue, she apparently is a Little Mix fan, and is a shout out, I gotta sing this, this is a shout out to my ex, <laughs> from Little Mix, so whether that's um, personal or to Zane Malik. Um, who knows, but that is um, your personal shout-out. Nga <laughs> mahi. There's some great strength here from Palmerston North girls. Yes! Love to see it. Beautifully played by Isabella. Just finding the gap there at the back of the court of um, McLean's. Nice turn there. Following it in, good movement, good teamwork. Kārawe te mahi ngātahi, very important in doubles. That teamwork is a feature in the match. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard to play doubles without teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> very hard, very, very hard. Great serve. Nice turn. Oh, a little bit long there from McLean's. Josephine, who was our kaitaki in um, our kōrero before match. Beautiful shot though from Josephine now. Yes. Nice. Oh, the back to the tenner is here. 
<laughs> oh, I always love that hopeful um, Rākete up at the Mā Tere Tere. Just hoping that, um, you know, just that little racket space <laughs> would be enough for uh, to intercept just any smash. Oh, interesting Good choice. movement. Good movement. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Placed there by McLean's. By Rosie in the back in her blue shoes. Yeah. Nice tuki there from Isabella. Again, we have the same model of shoes, Eris, wow. in different colours. Wow. Did you use to um, run to <laughs> you know the pro that? shop? At, um, I just really love your necks, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, nice. Maybe a little bit of putting or would have helped the girls from Palmerston North there just to decide whose um, shot that was. But well done on McLean for the placement of that patua. Oh, Ooh, that was a little bit of a jump. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, just watching this rally, it just, it just reminds me how patient you have to be in women's doubles. Yes. And that is something I am lacking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is the game of patience indeed. Oh, nice. Good kūpare. Good hotu control there off the rakete of Josephine. An intercept. Oh, my goodness. The movement! <laughs> oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. What a good rally. Karawe te patu patu. Great rally. Both teams are seriously working, putting in all the mahi they need to just make these as hard as they possibly can be for their oh. opponents. Is that going to be a slice? It was a, it was a slice. A jump slice. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Dover. Sounds like there's some pretty intense matches going into the close court with the boys. Mm. We've got um, Rangi Toto up against, is that Evandale College? Oh, so it's the battles of um, Alkura from Tamaki Makoto. And then further down, we've got Preston School from Tamaki Makoto up against our capital. Wellington. Yes, Wellington College. Up the canes. <laughs> <laughs> so Palmy, the Palmy girls. Yes, 11-9. That is a brilliant lead that they have. Yeah, especially since they were trailing, what, 4-0, yes. 5-0? Yes. So they got rhythm, they found their rhythm uh, yeah. during the game, and it's working for them. Now, um, our Palmerston North girls, as we said at the start, they are our elders, our seniors on court, so they are both year 13. So this is their final um, New Zealand Secondary Schools um, Championship, which I'm sure will be an emotional one. But well, how cool to end it on, on finals. On finals, so, yep. on stream. Yes, on stream. <laughs> and they're going up against a very different um, demographic. On the other side of the spectrum, we have junior players, our year nines from McLean. So imagine having your first experience as well in the finals yeah. and on stream. So yeah. <laughs> very opposite ends of the spectrum. Yes, very special. Very, very special for both teams for different reasons. Nice hotu there, nice control from Josephine. Just bringing down the Puke onto the floor. Nice touch. Silver, 12, 10. 
Isabella to serve. Beautiful play. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, that would have caught me out. Ooh. That would have caught me out, Josephine. <laughs> Good lift, good recovery. Nice. Wow. The rally's still going. Oh, what is the call? What is the call? Rothor, the line person. Calls Rothor. That is Phoebe from Palmerston North Girls. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good lift. Really all you can do when um, McLean played such a tight drop there, eh, Justine? Unless you want to net tumble back, you know? Net tumble back. As um, a champion yourself. You know, I can only learn from you, Reina. You know, as a Oceania champ and a youth Olympian. Nah, I think all <laughs> that you can learn from me now is um, just rest and retirement. <laughs> nice. That's a good response to a flip given to Amy there. Maybe another shout out to her ex. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh. The Kokari quite not enough for the attack of McLean's in that rally. That's going to be a nice tight little net tumble. 14, it always surprises me that McLean's is not actually in the lead because I feel like they've been winning quite a few shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, but now it's even, 15 all. They have been trailing and they have finally made it back. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Oh, nice. Oh. Wow. What is happening? <laughs> oh, oh, that is so good. Mahi, some good work, some good movement from Palmerston North, but McLean just managing to outmove it then. Beautifully played by Josephine and Rosie. Again, just a bit too tight. Mm, mm, mm. I think just keep it over for now, be patient. Oh, good beautiful play. serve. Beautiful puku. Landing inside of the double service line. <laughs> this time that. 18-16. 16-18, sorry. Nice whip. That's and your favourite shot. <laughs> now watch me whip. 17-19. Up, up, up. I've noticed that these girls really like to cross court now. Yeah. Oh, when ready, ready, ready. Yeah, they do love a bit of cross court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they get pushed into their backhand, they both like to do a little soft cross court shot. Mm -hmm. Correct your one. Oh, that is a good tuku, good serve. And it is a local that is on the line. And Palmerston North come back to settle in on 20, game point 19. Another good serve. Good co Oh, oh, and, and they Palmy sneak. Take, Palmy takes <laughs> the first game. Wow. They take the first game 21-19. Really couldn't get any closer unless we went to full blown setting up till 30. Have you ever played a 30? <sighs> yeah. You have? Uh, yeah. So back in my day. Back in your day. Do you remember how I told you that um, little um, that little story yesterday about that comeback I made? Yes, yes, Kay, yes. So, before that, the match before that, the Kopatul before that, 
Um, I actually played another three setter. Oh my god! Yeah, I was so Is this gassed. singles? Yeah, this was singles. This was singles. <laughs> um, and it was three sets, and the third set went to thirty twenty nine. No way! Yeah. Did you win the first? Did I win the first? I can't remember. I can't remember. But yeah, I was um, I was gassed, and I remember I came off court. I think <laughs> that was like literally about an hour and twenty minutes. An hour and yeah, twenty minutes. Hour twenty minutes, and I came off court, and I literally. The referee came over to me and was like, hey, Kelda Reyna, you're actually next game on, but we'll give you 10 minutes break. And I literally just remember crying. <laughs> I literally just, I was 15 at the time, and I was like, please, I just to send me. <laughs> that is horrible scheduling. Yeah. And so then that's when I then had to go into that next um, poupatu where- Wait, um, so you were like down, when you were down, that you said you were down 11.20, yeah. this was- 15 minutes before that, or let's say, well, I don't know, 30. Yeah, you had yeah. a massive three-setter. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is, that is sad. I know. I, I that's why I cried. I, <laughs> I was ready to just um, throw in the towel. But yeah, my mum came through with um, with the with the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> that is some horrible sketch. I know. <laughs> nice. Oh, the kaha. Waffle outside. Isabella has beautiful service, eh? Mm. Oh, a bit too much kaha behind that puta to putua. think we're going to see a three-setter here, or can Palmy mm -mm -mm. manage to win this in two? Um, that is... Oh, I don't know. I kind of I kind of want Palmy to win so that we go into a juicy 1-1 one -one yeah, yeah, match yeah. high score. Because um, I just love the a drama. <laughs> um, I need to find the Te Reo Kupu Māori. Um, word for drama, but yeah, it really could be either game. I mean, McLean's could actually take this still. Score is now going to 3-5. Do you ever watch um, <laughs> do you ever watch Badminton and sometimes you wonder like, how do I look when I play? <laughs> oh, I know how I look. Oh, you do? <laughs> With a grimace. <laughs> Well read, well read, Isabella. But these kids are lucky because they're on stream and then they get to watch. Watch what it there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, if you are joining us on Pukata Māori, you always can come back to these streams um, anytime. It's, um, it's there for you on YouTube. On the internet, forever. <laughs> forever, yeah. So, you know, in case maybe in 10 to co years, you're like, wow, I actually remember there was that really good game between um, McLean's and Palmerston North Girls. I think it was their first first girls doubles. You know what? Just, just punch in the same link and we'll be here still. So we will, our voices will carry you through. <laughs> How did you manage to make that sound very sentimental? Because <laughs> I'm just a sentimental boy. <laughs> nice control, nice hopu. And Palmy girls have caught up. Well done. Oh, good flick. Cheeky, cheeky flick. I love the serves that Isabella has. Now leaving 8-7. They've not only made a comeback, but they've taken the lead. They're, they like to make their comeback at the start, you know? Yeah, they actually, they, I mean, that's what they did in the first game, Yeah, they it? did. <laughs> they don't want to start strong. Yeah. Not from the beginning, no. <laughs> they start humble and then warm up. <laughs> Waho outside, well left by Amy. Bit too much kaha there in McLean's. 
Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, well placed there by Josephine. Good serving. Ooh, yeah, would have been a good swing. Well left swing by Rosie. Swing. Yes. Oh, oh. Ooh. 11, 10. Pulled oh. Off. Just like that, it switched. Yes. We led into the haurura tanga um, with maybe a fortunate miscommunication. Um, there wasn't any at all between our um, players from the claims, but it was okay. The shuttle landed waho out and um, they won the point anyway <laughs> and now lead 11-10. What do you do, Justine? Um, like, how do you like to soothe your nerves, maybe, when it is this close at 11 10? Or, no, better yet, more drama. Let's add more drama. Okay, what is the drama? When it's 20 all. When it's 20 all? Yeah. Um, you know, I used to, I actually used to thrive under pressure. Oh, you love the chaos. But it's crazy because uh, the most recent game I played, I, I, for some reason, I could not serve to save my life. Really? And that really did me mentally. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it got to a stage where at one point I was like, please just, um, to my partner, I was like, can you please make sure you're, you're, you're ready? <laughs> <laughs> Your yeah. co-pare is ready to defend whatever comes and back. if you're serving, just keep it to yourself, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I try and like focus on what I can control. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice moving. Yes. Oh, yeah, well placed there, Josephine. I mean, great movement there from Palmy Girls. Really it is. scrambling, doing the mahi for every single patua shot. Um, but McLean just coming on top. Oh, oh, McLean's is edging out their lead. 15, now it's 10. three points. Oh, punch clear. Oh, love it. Oh. Kaupari are quite not there for the kaha of um, Isabella. A request to change the pukura, the shuttle. Nice, that's a really good hunt there from Amy, isn't it, Justine? It is. Love, you really got, if you're gonna be the front person, what is your, your tips? What is your tips to be a good front partner? Honestly, have your racket up. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so much quicker up front, you know, yes. and you just have yeah. to um, intercept. Your racket has to be ready, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And if your racket is down, sometimes you, because it's so fast, you don't have a lot of time And that's kind to bring of, it up. Yeah, and I guess that's kind of where, if your racket is quite low, it's where if you do do the same swing, it's probably either going to go like, um, long or yep. wide, eh? maybe physics speaking, like correct and projectile. -wise. The reason why you want it to have it be a small swing because if you hit it hard, it's going to come back fast as well, and yes. you just don't have time to make a big swing. Yep. Well, what was that? That is waffle outside, outside this time. 14. Oh, oh, juicy, juicy. Out again. Oh, good serve. What about you, Rena? You say which which part of the court do you like being on, actually? The front court or the rear court? Um, I quite like the front court now. Yep, so what are your tips? Oh, now. Yeah, you now. say now. now. <laughs> Is it because you move less or what? Yeah, like? it's exactly that. You called me out. <laughs> <laughs> what was it before? You like the rear court? Yeah, I did like the rear Because you like women's doubles. I love, 
I love the clears. Um, yeah, more well, tips for tips for um, front court players. Um, I'd say yeah, Rakite up and commit to a side actually. Yeah, and I'd say also <laughs> Kia Maya, you got to be brave. Yeah, that's true. You know, like um, I remember, especially for mixed, is where. Because you have that player right there all the time. All the time. All the time. And you really just have to, Kia Maya, be brave to play those shots at the net. Because mm -hmm. um, that's actually where it helps set up the attack for not only yourself, but your um, partner as well. Exactly. It's funny as well, because you know what? Have you ever played reverse mix? And the yes. guys hate being at the front. Yeah. They're like, this is actually really scary. Yeah. yeah. That's and why I'm they put the wahine at the front, because yeah. we have the bravery. So it's always, you got to put a lot of trust in your partner as well. Like, please do a good serve, otherwise my face, <laughs> my face, brother. Really. Oh. <laughs> Not sure what that was. No, her hair tie, her plait's oh, coming off. Her ribbon. I think she had her hair plaited. Oh, got you, got you. Oh, 20, and we close in on match point. Can they do it? Can they finish it off in the first opportunity? <gasps> oh my goodness! And, and they, they did! did. <laughs> ka pai, ka pai. What a good game. What a good game. Karawe te patu. Well done to Palmy Girls, and we will be back with the first of our singles, number four, right after this break. Enjoy, go Fare Paku, grab a tea, grab some kai, and we'll catch you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Baileys finding buyers that others can't. Want to catch a fuel bargain with Caltex and Supergold? Scan your Caltex app, flybys, or airpoints for six cents off per litre with Pumped. You beauty! And show your Super Gold card for an extra two cents off. Ah, feels good. Up to, up to, up to, up to, up to. E kite rā kōa e ngā tino kaitākoro ke mu o roto i te ao Māori, and apparently te koutou tērā. He te ringa hau, rā e ki te ārai i pūrangi. E ka mā mati ke maranga nau mai haere mai. E ke panuku ki Māori Plus.
Kia ora and welcome back to um, the first singles of this playoff between um, Palmerston North girls and McLean's. Now, in case you have missed it, this is the finals for the girls' secondary schools nationals, and it has been an absolute cracker, cracker of a start. Um, currently, the tie score is one match each with doubles number two going the way of McLean's and doubles number one going the way of Harmison North Girls. Now on court at the moment we have uh, singles number four between Melody of um, McLean's and Yutong of Palmy. And then afterwards we'll move on to singles number three, two, and then close off with a good battle between our number one. Now we are watching the warm-up as these girls go. Do you have a routine, Reina, when you warm up on court in the two minutes that you get given? Mm -hmm. um, I always find it interesting when, obviously, like you have to hit with your 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 opponent, your huariri. Um But I don't know. I kind of try and do most of my shot warm-up before I go on court mm. so that... Um, you know, if you're um, ready yeah. when you get on court yeah. so like, to compete. Kind of, yeah, and so like you know, when I'm warming up in front of everyone, you can do like a big, you know, smash to just you know, <laughs> to scare them a little time, bit. <laughs> stamp your mana on court. Here we have Yutong Ma from Palmerston North Girls High School, and I believe she's played double. I, I guess there's only four players actually yes. on. Um, Palmerston and North Girls, which mm. means they have to play all mm. events and every single one have to play. They don't have a sub. Yeah. <laughs> and so Yu Tong is a year 12 at Palmerston North Girls. She's been playing badminton for seven years, plays a little bit of netball and loves to hang with friends and listen to music and has a special shout out for her sister and Jojo. That is very cute. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's great shot. Beautiful melody. shot. And so Melody, like the rest of her team, comes in in year nine from McLean's. Has been playing badminton for three years. Doesn't play any other sports, just loves badminton, loves art, and her special shout out is a big kia to her mum and dad. Beautiful. They're their biggest supporters, right? Yeah. I know for sure your mum was there. For every single <laughs> tournament. Every single tournament, literally. She she is a weapon, that woman. She is. She always had a buddy with her. Yeah, always. <laughs> oh, my her auntie, twin. her twin. Her twin, <laughs> yes, Auntie Sydney. Yes, my two my two team support crew. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Samoan top twins of um, <laughs> Pukera, of badminton. Good shot. Beautiful shot by Melody. Shorties like a melody in my head. I was waiting for them runs, Rabba. I was actually waiting for them runs. Uh, <laughs> now we've got to keep it humble. We've got to keep it humble. This All is, right. This sorry. is Pukara, not um, Waiata time. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> But I'm um, subscribe and like to my uh, YouTube. No, okay. Just subscribe and like. Should we save it for tomorrow? the ads next yeah. time? You know, <laughs> instead of running the ads, we'll have a little, little sesh. Yes. Or oh, wahoo that is outside, well left by Yutong. Let's go, Melody. Yeah, let's go, Melody. Oh, that was strong. That was solid. It's always so good when you can hear that the contact point is on it. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit long there. Good full court tuku serve there from Melody. It's so important if you're going to do a high serve that you get it to the very back, to the very, very, very back of um, the service court, the tapa tukunga roa, the long service line. Yes. Because otherwise you're just giving them a free smash, eh? Yeah. 
because if you hit the shuttle up, the only way it can go is down. <laughs> I like to hit mine up again. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about like uh, punch clears, right? Yes. What makes a good punch clear? Oh, what makes a good punch clear? Um, I think it's like the hold, 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 and the kapa, kapa. Yeah, kapa, 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 boom. Do you think in sound sometimes? Do I think in sound? Yeah. Always. My whole brain is an automatic player. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's sound. Yeah. When I'm learning a shot, I have to hear it in my head. Yeah. When I'm driving, a skirt. That's what I have to. That's what I have to think. <laughs> but, oh, outside. Okay. Wobble, outside. Wide. Yu Tong pulls into six points to nine. The fight is still very much in her grasp. Oh, 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 just long. That was going to put some very well needed pressure upon Melody. Good long serve again. Oh, what a stunning opening attack there from the. It was, it was. Very crisp. Crisp? Crisp. I like that. Crisp like an apple. Apple. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, e yes. Uh, oh, and e no. no. E no. <laughs> e no. Unlucky. Next time, as we head into our Hodua Tanga, our half time, and the score is 11 to 7, being led by Melody of McLean's College this time. That is a good opening half, wouldn't you say, Justine? It is a good opening half. There were some crisp shots from both. Crisp. Crisp. I don't know why that word gets me, but... Why? I don't know. You've never heard it before? I don't know, but it's just, you know, crisp. It's just very, um... The word Descriptive. Itself, the word itself, the kuku itself is very crisp in its, um... True. Its tone. Anyway, but yes, it's very nice shots from Melody. Um, very intentional with what she's been playing, eh? Yes, and she is forcing, um... Utah to the back of the court. Yes. But Yutong has been performing some really nice slices as well. Very nice slices. With a little bit of speed, so it's almost like a... Um, what's that called, Justine? A snap. A snap. A snap slice. Yeah. Slice snap. <laughs> Alright. 11-7, Melody to serve, kicking off the second half of this first game. Nice. Okay. You said it was nice because it was a cheeky punch clear, right? Yeah, it was a cheeky panhandle punch clear. <laughs> Almost thought it was me on court. Nice, good moving there. Oh, that was a good, good shot. Yeah, very well played there by Melody of McLean. A little bit dangerous though because it was going really straight to <laughs> you, Tom's racket. it very strong yeah and like I mean as much as I love a punch clear I think I think it's if you're playing melody you can't afford to keep doing punch clears she is a very strong hitter and if you're going to do a punch clear move her first or just add in some variation with maybe some higher clears first eh Justine mm -hmm. as a single specialist yourself <laughs> would say I've always I always struggled with singles I never <laughs> knew what I was doing <laughs> I was just a runner Wow. wow. That was nice. That was very nice. That was a very nice shot. How do you say um, good shot in good shot. Tereo Mori? Good shot is to a pipe. Good shot. 
So Putua, I believe, is shot. Pie, like car pie. Shrimmega together. And you got <laughs> Patua pie. I think um, the thing I love about Te Reo Māori is very similar to um, Ngangana Samoa, so the Samoan language is where, I mean like when I look at it, like as I'm learning um, my own language of Samoan, it's um, very logical, so mea ai means food, but because I is the doing word of eating and mea means thing, so it's like oh, wow. thing eat, so it's just the thing you eat, and I'm like, goodness. Do you know what? I think a lot of the languages, mm -hmm. apart from English, is actually like that. It's like a yeah. mixture of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I really love it. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. And I think um, with, as I've been learning more Te Reo Māori, it's been really interesting because we obviously, um, coming from the Moana, obviously migration has been where, I guess, our island, inter-island and intercultural intercultu differences has come. And so we do still have a lot of similar words, but then there's some that's just 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 not the same. So mm. they they will be spelt the same, pronounced the same, but have like completely different meanings. Different so it always meanings. catches me. So as I've been like learning Te Reo Māori, I'm like, oh yeah, I know that, upu. and then I'm like, oh no, 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 no yeah. I know that, I know that upu in Samoan. <laughs> but it has been fun to learn to upu. That's good, that's good. Yeah. It's always great to learn another language. Yeah. Especially one that you can relate to back to your, you know, your ancestors. Mm, 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 mm. All right, second game. First was won by Melody of McLean, 21-9. While left, that was Weho outside. Outside. Oh, that was a very beautiful slice from Melody there. Roto, that it finds the line that Puku, that serve lands just inside. Nice full court cross clear. Oh, nice. That's a good conversation. I mean, combination. Yes. Oh, oh the Kopari is strong. Oh! oh, good running, girls. Good mahi. Oh, that was a brilliant, brilliant. Ho patu patu, great rally. Car pie girls. Oh. Oh, wow. Outside. Melody is doing so well, but here we have Yutong still fighting from behind. Kia kaha, here Yutong. Waho outside, so just a bit too long there. <laughs> well left by Melody. <laughs> Have you ever confidently left a shot and it was wrong? So you thought it was going to go out, but it actually landed in. No, I'm never confident in my Oh, life. never confident in Remember, I used to just hit everything, even when it wasn't me to out. That's true, that's <laughs> true. Although, um, I remember there was, um, we were at another tournament. This was another June Bevan tournament in 2012. Yeah. yeah. And Is this in Wellington? No, 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 this was in um, Tasmania. Tasmania, yeah, Hobart, Tasmania, in Australia, and my teammate he left one, so he didn't move his <laughs> shoe. So wait, what? So he left it, didn't hit it, 
but he didn't move his foot, so the pukara, the shuttle, landed on his foot onto the floor. So technically, that counts as him trying to strike it. So it was upper, and it, the point went to the other team. What a silly guy. It was very funny to watch, though. Very was funny. Was it Kerwin Lee? No, it was not Kerwin Lee. <laughs> But it was all good because Remy McCoomin Lee um, got sport, um, sportsmanship, sportsmanship award, yeah. which will be awarded later, actually, yes. a good sports award. Over. And we'll talk more about it. As it comes. 4-10. Harmy girls still in this. They can still fight. No hikui, no hike is too big. Oh, ready, ready, ready. Ooh, Roto, that was a beautiful shot by Melody to take us to our Hauruatanga, our half time, leading now 11 4. And half time is now the 60 second break, yes. not like the mistake I did earlier. <laughs> Edmonton, you know, there's usually individual events and team events. So yep. right now we are playing the New Zealand Secondary Schools Badminton Championships, which is a team event. Yes. Because you're representing your school. Which yes. one um, did you thrive off more? Did Ooh, you, yeah, did you enjoy or did you perform better uh, during a team event or an individual event? I always thought there was such a different energy when it came to couple sports, like to our team sports. Um, and I think especially... I mean, I, I love traveling, not only for school, but um, I played for Harbour for probably... Your whole ten, life? Yeah, like <laughs> 10 years of my life, since I was eight. Um, since you were eight? Yeah, since I was eight was when I got into my first under 13 representative team. Um, and then obviously had some opportunities to play for, um, for New Zealand overseas as well. And... It's just like a different energy that comes, yeah, you know, um, I agree. getting to play. And especially like with your team, it's the whole excitement of, you know, cheering on the team. Oh, Roto, that was a beautiful coup lying, landing just inside the line. But I feel like it does require different um, preparation when you're going into an individual's mm. tournament versus team's tournament. Because in a team's, to um, team's event, right, there's... Guaranteed support crew, and you yeah, play. Yeah, yeah. You play with your team, <laughs> yes, and um, yes. and individual tournaments because New Zealand isn't, you know, the biggest country. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, you play against your friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Wow. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, the rally oh still going. Goodness. Nice. And it finds the floor. Karawete Putua. Beautiful shot from Melody. Yeah, Melody is performing mm. in this singles. And it is the first singles that is being played for this tie at the number four girls singles. Very nicely done. I actually, um... Yes? No, I cancel that thought just now. <laughs> My apologies, Igor. Like, <laughs> Don't worry, it happens all the time. You know when it leaves <laughs> your throat, your trail of thought, your trail. <laughs> I think you're going to be like, when it leaves your throat, and I'm like, oh, I haven't talked no, yet. No, no, no. Trail of thought. 16-7 McLean's. 16-7. Oh, what did I just say? 16-7. Yeah, that's correct. 16-7. 17-7. McLean's looking or making it look like they could very well take this first singles match in the girls' finals. 
of the New Zealand Secondary School Nationals. Oh! What a stunning. shot. Stunning! Absolutely what stunning. What a shot. Oh, wah -ho. Well <laughs> Melody knew as well the moment she hit that serve that it was going to go out. Mm -mm. When you when you know your shot's gonna go out, do you try and stay like composed about it, or do you s <laughs> are you transparent straight away and tell your opponents? Because you know sometimes your opponents doesn't hit it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but they do hit it. Yeah, I mean, depends how far out I hit it. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not gonna be hit like chirpy ears if it's like a meter out, unless I'm playing myself. You know, because then <laughs> I would still hit there. <laughs> <laughs> 19-8, McLean's two points away from taking this first singles Ooh. match. That's a beautiful slice. Oh, nice. And very well placed in the backhand corner of Yutong. Can Melody close out this match on her first opportunity? And she does. Oh, beautiful game there by both girls. Congratulations to McLean for winning that first girls singles. And well done to Yutong for putting up a fight. Stay tuned for our third girls singles coming right up after this break. Watch to win Edge Fishing Gear Bundles worth over $1,000. Go to fakatamaori.co.nz forward slash Moontide Fishing for details. Yeah. Moontide Fishing, Ratu ki Fakata Maori me Maori Plus. Whoops, <laughs> running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place as well as the locals. You've found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great-grandfather 20 years ago. Kia ora koutou and welcome back. We are here in the finals 
of the girls division of the New Zealand Secondary School Nationals and we have McLean's College sitting currently leading the way in this finals on two matches against one um, of Palmerston North Girls High School. Now we've just wrapped up um, the fourth singles which was won by McLean and we actually had a split, a split result in the doubles so our second doubles was won by um, McLean and the first doubles was taken out by New, oh, not New Plymouth, Palmerston, Palmerston North. North. <laughs> and we now have our number three girls singles between Mia and Phoebe. And then we'll follow through with number two and number one. And for those who are just joining us today, your fellow commentators through this stream is next to me, Reina Phillips. Mm -hmm. Kia ora. And I, Justine Villegas. It's been a pleasure, Edward, to do this with you. It really it's has been, been really fun. I don't think we've... Have we? Nah. No, we have in the league. Have we? No, I don't think so, sis. Oh, maybe not. Nah, we no, haven't. maybe I was just next to you just while you were doing What's our podcast called? <laughs> Babington After Dark? Babington Yarners. <laughs> <laughs> the part where we never talk about Babington, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yes, we're being streamed here on Fakata Māori um, with our sponsors, our key sponsor, Caltex, who will be bringing to you the Good Sport Award that will be presented next um, in the next few... Um, Moments, well not moments, games. Anyway, <laughs> on to our next sponsors, Apollo Projects, Bailey's and New Zealand Carbon Farming. A huge mahi to all of those who have supported us. And then just while we're at it, in terms of acknowledging and appreciating, a huge thank you to all school staff, managers, parent helps, teachers, and coaches who have just made this um, this trip possible. Many children, um, Nangatahi coming from Tamariki, uh, Tamaki Makoto, some coming from the South Island, just traveling all around Aotearoa. Um, it is a pleasure to finally be able to watch this finals with you all today. Oh, beautiful opening shot there by Mia yeah. of McLean's. Was that a new shoe model we have on Mia? Not yes, the it is a new shoe model yeah. we have. <laughs> is our Yonex specialist Justine? What 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 model shoe is that? Do you know? That's a good question. It's not the. What was the other one? Uh, it's not the Eris. Not the Eris. Um, could be the 65Z. Or Waho Good Leave by Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe's got a lead going. So Phoebe has, is playing with a bit of pressure, you know, having, if she wins this, she can even out the scores and bringing it to two all. Otherwise, if McLean's wins this, it will be 3-1 to McLean's, which makes them very, very close to winning the tie completely mm. and securing that goal. Yes, this is, well, I mean, every single match is a crunch match, but this could either make, um, Put a lot of pressure on Palmy girls, um, or it could, you know, rebalance the scales here today. Nice, a lot of kaha there from Mia of the Plains. So Phoebe is our youngest player on from, the team. Um, yeah, from Palmy Girls. She is in year 10 and has been playing for around seven years. And it is her first time Exciting. playing in this tournament. Well, welcome Phoebe. And welcome to Phoebe's Bano at home who are hopefully tuning in. Um, it is good to have you and Phoebe join us. And if they're not watching it live, they can re-watch this game. Yeah, so Phoebe, when you go home, back to Palmy, tell your parents to come on, because we've just given them a special mahi. <laughs> nice. Ready? Oh, 
the kopare. You got to be ready for the kopare. Can you please translate what the kopare is? Defense. The defense. <laughs> Nice cheering from the teammates that we can hear. Nice BB, they say. Whoa. Whoa. BB like. is playing well. I love to see it. Love to see it. Well placed there by Mia. Right down the line. Pressure on the backcourt of um, of Phoebe. Wahoo, that is outside of Tapa Takitahi, the single sideline. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that hotu, that control. Oh. I mean, I was just focused on um, the kaupare of that first shot there. Yeah, yeah, that, that was, was it. beautiful. Quality shot. Carpisis, carpi. That was quality from me as well. Mm -hmm. Great pace of change. Yeah. What am I saying? Great change of pace. Well, he says, I understood, I understood. <laughs> And the and the um, the grammatical structure of um, Te Reo Māori and many other languages that would have been sense. correct. Yeah. yeah, that would have been correct. <laughs> if, any, if anything, it's Te Reo Pakiha that um, has the order around the wrong way, <laughs> or I should say, the wrong order away. <laughs> Great shot. Oh, nice, Mia. Oh, there was too much kaha in that clear there. And this McLean. takes McLean through to our halftime Hodua Tonga at 11 to 9. Yes, Mia's done well to be in the lead for the interval mm, because mm, Phoebe mm. was leading the whole time. What do you think? Did Mia About change? What? Did Mia change? <laughs> what did she change? How did she get the lead? Uh, uh, uh. What did she change? Or what did um, Phoebe do differently mm, mm, that mm. lost her lead? The lead? Yeah, I think um, Mia just did really well in just focusing in on, on that back line and making it, just using that back court, getting it to the furthest, most possible, mm. um, I guess, increasing that pressure that Phoebe is under. Yeah. And so it, I know it can be a very different game when your players are before, you know, that um, double service line compared to when they can actually get into the very back of um, the Tapa Takunga oh, Tukunga Roa. Tapa Correct. Tukunga. Hold on, I'm going to get this. Tapa Tukunga Roa. The nice. long service line. <laughs> That's all different. And I think Mia has to be really careful with hitting the shuttle to Phoebe because Phoebe yes. has performed some great control. And Phoebe actually is quite tall. Like, um, I know she is only in year 10, but she actually has quite a long um, arm span and her reach. <laughs> Is, I mean, we saw it in her doubles, yeah. in, um, in her takirua, um, she did some great intercepts. And so I think for me it will be really important that if she wants to use those clears, is to make sure that she's actually getting it over Phoebe mm -hmm. and her full arm span. Oh, nice. that was a nice shot. Oh, oh ready, ready, ready. Waho outside. And Phoebe climbs onto 10 points, Tiko to 13. Oh, Roto, that is inside and managed to clip the Tapataki Hatahi, the sidelines of the singles court. Well done, Mia. Right idea though, right idea. You can see that um, Phoebe knew that she had to change. Reina. Yes. This is a left hand versus left hand kind of game. 
Oh, yeah, I already noticed that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already forgot that Phoebe was left handed. <laughs> oh, we, oh, we. <laughs> but yes. It's not often you see two left handers on court. Yeah, very true, actually. Um, yeah, so welcome. <laughs> welcome, team. We have a left hand singles game. Takitahi on our uh, screen. This is special. This is special. Oh, beautiful roto that lands just inside. We um, are almost <laughs> at the end of the first game. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it took you that long to notice. I the know. Block. Sorry. I'm sorry. I rely on you for these observations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, as the sports specialist, this is really up to you. Um. <laughs> just long, just long of the Tapatukunga Roa. Yeah. I'm just the color commentator. Oh, ready, 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 ready. Oh, Waho outside. 12 18. Phoebe just climbing up those few points. But Mia still quite comfortably leading at the moment. Oh, Beautiful. I think um, she has really found the back line. Phoebe has left a, quite a few shots, actually. Uh, uh, uh. Thinking that it's out, but Mia's just on it. Ooh. She really is. They just literally land perfectly just before. Oh, oh, oh my god. Come out there with heat. That's outstanding. You know, this could be battle of the slices since they're both left-handed, and you know how. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Just, feather is yeah. in favor for left hands. Oh, oh, already. Uh, and there we go. Yeah. McLean takes it out with the prowess of Mia, leading 21 to 12. Um, but not without a very good fight being put up by Phoebe, representing Palmerston North. Um, do you know whose slice I love? Kerwin Lee. Mm, um, I love his sportsmanship. <laughs> Who? Shauna Lee. Yes, Shauna Lee does have an amazing slice. Yes. Her shots are pretty good as well. They're all very disguised and they all look the same. Yeah. Which makes it very, very effective. I mean, you know what actually is impressive is the fact that, you know, all of my shots look the same, but that's because they are the same. Um, <laughs> just the same punch clear, but you know, huge, huge respect to players who actually can play more than one shot. You know? Well done, well done. Hey, but that's what made you great, you know. If you if you can win it, milk it. <laughs> <laughs> you just overpowered everyone, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much. I remember when I was in under 15s. Um, you know, I learned how to do a smash, <laughs> and oh, well, I I learned how to do a smash in primary, and I just remember that's carried me through. And then that's how we won our first um, titles in under 15s. And then when we got into under 17s, obviously Evan House started learning um, Kopare, so the defense. And I was like, well, there goes my whole game plan. <laughs> so then that's where I learned how to do a punch clip. I yeah. see, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Basically like, a smash, but just yeah. a bit higher. Yeah. Yeah, so. They're not ready for it. They think you're going to hit it down, but yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> It's like when um, I've seen juniors, if they can serve, in under 13, if they can serve, they've won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, can yeah. hit them to the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice, Phoebe. Oh. Oh, a bit oh. of a matiritiri playoff. Sorry, matiritiri playoff. Oh. You can see that... Um, Mia there really tried to um, bring in the hotu, that, um, that control just to drop almost mm. blocks to come underneath that the pukara, the shuttle to just drop over the net. But maybe just That's a bit too much. It's always a balance, eh? Always yep. a balance. Balance is better. Uh, balance is better. Yes, that is the slogan of NZSSC. NZCC, I don't know the acronym, but there's some <laughs> S's and there's an NZ and a C. Ooh, good serve. Beautiful Taku serve by Mia. Oh, shot. 
That was a great shot. Again, that was beautiful. Beautiful slice. Mmm, card I win. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? I was just gonna ask who's gonna make the first cross court. Nice. Oh, nice ooh. shot. Oh, Patua Pai. Nice Good shot. shot, Mia. And also, if um if you are watching at home, just really watch um Mia's footwork. She actually has very, very nice footwork, especially in the little split step, as um Justine is saying. And one, two, three, there. Oh, okay, not there, not there. <laughs> you wait till it, team. You wait, you wait. It is coming. It is loading. Nice high serve. Oh, just, just out. Just a bit long though, but there was some good height in there. Whoa. That was strong. That was very strong. Great kaha behind It gave there. me some Sally Fu vibes. Yes. Great Sally Fu vibes. The immortal Sally Fu. Ah. Retires, but doesn't. <laughs> Don't they all do that? <laughs> Isn't that what you do? No, I just retire and then use my big mouth on the commentating. <laughs> A bit of indecision there on what that line call is. And we're going to go Play with for lets. a let to the Kuan North. So that is a replay, basically. So when um, the umpires or linesmen can't tell what the call is, we just do a replay here in badminton. But that serve was clearly Roto that landed inside. Jumping to 9-10 now. 9-2, sorry. Oh, what a drop. What a net shot. Oh. You know what, though? You know what I've noticed from these two? That they both look handed. Yes. Yep. And that their faces show no facial expression. Mm, like, when true. I play, I am very, very transparent. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can tell all my emotions. Yes. I show I it. mean, I can't tell. I can't. I can oh, never you can't? Tell. No, I can never tell. I can tell when you do it. Yes. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> You're angry maybe like 90% of the time. <laughs> no, that's just my focused face. Oh, is it? My focused face. <laughs> and we are here at half time. Oduwatanga, 11 to 2. The claims quite comfortably sitting on top. Mia just really. Um, Honestly, she's just found the lines in this game, eh? She has, she has. And she's looking very strong. And I think Phoebe is struggling to find her rhythm. Yes. Yeah. And it's tough to play a game when your opponent has the rhythm and you don't. Yes. And yeah. It's just difficult. Yeah. But we'll see what Phoebe, or maybe some uh, words of encouragement from her coach, mm -hmm. can change mm -hmm. the momentum. Anything can happen. I mean, it's only eight points, right? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. We should do a um, Waiata <laughs> association game. I do that all the time. <laughs> but off street, most. <laughs> um, unrelatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what was one of my favorite shows on Fucking uh, Marty back in the day? Um, oh. No, unfortunately, it's not Pakuda. It is um, Paki Paki. Oh, yeah. Which was basically just like karaoke. And um, I can't remember. I was so young. I can't remember any of it except for the fact that you just got to sing. Um, <laughs> so. But yes, I have very fond memories of watching it. Singing is the best, though. It just makes life so fun. Happier. Yes. Good for your holy water. Nice. Beautiful rallies. Mia just so consistent, eh? Hey? Oh, 
with that. Just oh, that plays the line it too. It does. Oh, Patsua Pai indeed. Good shot. Oh, ooh, that was a nice shot. You know, I, I always try to do that in mix, but um, the, for, the unfortunate thing they're is... They're right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even left. <laughs> yeah, true. It's a good shot in singles. Yeah, great shot in singles. Maybe that's why we're better cut out for um, singles, Ewa. <laughs> Are we though? <laughs> no, yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> Maybe only in very, very selected situations and singles. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. So just for that one shot. That and one then, shot. And then we'll leave after that um, putua. <laughs> patua. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, she's nice and early for good that Good moving. Oh, good kaupare. Just missing that, that line though, but so good. Ready. Ready always. Ready, yeah. Ready, yeah. That's what um, our coach used to always say to us from North Harbour. It's true though, you've got to be ready. Mm. <laughs> Best piece of advice I get from coaching. What a slice! <laughs> oh, there's the left-handed slice. What a slice. Patsua pai, ka pai. Very, very good. Still in this BB. Kia kaha e BB. Ooh. Nice, beautiful. Huina, that's it. Waho, that is out. That is a nice little streak of um, poru points, three points. Settling on two eight now, Phoebe is. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. What wow. a setup by Mia Shu yes. from McLean's College. The patient side. Yeah. Beautiful high serve there from oh, Mia. Nice. Oh, 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 there's the long arm reach. Maybe the swimming coming back in from the butterfly stroke. <laughs> you love this butterfly stroke. <laughs> Is that your favorite stroke when you're swimming? When I you're mean, aqua I jogging? I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably actually have to come drowning and I'd need to call help. 8.20. Oroto, that stays in for another day. Phoebe reaching nine points. Nice hold there from Phoebe. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Beautiful shots Ooh. here. Ooh. And unlucky and just like that, McLean's score. Three matches now taking that number three girls singles, 21-12, 21-9. Well, congratulations, girls. Well done. And let's head back here right after the break for our number two girls singles. Randy, are you ready? Yeah. I don't know why I'm shading myself from it. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh my god! Rags are riches is back. Season two is like already got me sweaty. Let's go. <laughs> the fashion is bolder. I feel confident, eh? Push my boundaries even more. Brighter. I want to get in there and I want to touch all of it and put on my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locking it in. Better than ever. And joining us, very special guest. Not that guy. <laughs> Rags are riches. Streaming now on Maori Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't about what we wore back in the day. We're going to go now, going once, going twice, no more offers. Scored! It's about being trusted to get a better result for our clients since 1973. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex.
shoulder at the iwi and welcome back to this finals playoff for gold and silver between McLean's College of Tamaki Makoto and we have Palmerston North Girls High School of Manawatu and currently the tie score overall is three matches to one with McLean's leading it at the moment. Now, if we're looking back upon the matches we've already played, we had a split result in the doubles. So, McLean's took out doubles number two, singles number four, singles number three, and our new, no, I keep wanting to say new plummet. <laughs> our Palmerston North girls have taken out the number one doubles. So, it has been a very, very tight game nonetheless. But we now head into singles number two before our final match of the day. Um, and here we have our girls Rosie Yang from McLean's and Amy Sue from Palmerston North ready to take the court. Starting at a very young age when you played um, Reina, what's yes. your advice to young um, young kiddos here, mm -hmm. young students, mm -hmm. to keep their uh, passion uh, yeah. for sport? Balance. Yeah? Yeah. Balance is always better. <laughs> <laughs> no, but genuinely, I think um, I always wish that I might, might have played a bit more sports mm. alongside badminton. I mean, I love badminton. Um, but I think I wish that, you know, I had a bit of um, a variety in my days. Correct. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, back when I was in high school, it was every morning and every evening it was at the badminton hall. Morning and evening. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to do that now, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older. <laughs> yeah, so I really just wish I had a bit more balance in that sense. Yeah. Yeah, especially socially as well. And why is that? Why why did you wish that you have more balance? Do you feel like you yeah. missed out, or? Yeah, I think I missed out. Um, in terms of, you know, I I I really most of my social life was in badminton and Pukara. Um Yeah. And I mean, I had some. I mean, we met through badminton. We you did came meet. Stayed with me when we both finished Kuta. I remember <laughs> we finished. Actually, that's very true. We both finished Year Thirteen. Together, yeah. yeah. You came and stayed at my house, and we went and did the bungee, bungee jump jumping. off the Harbour Bridge <laughs> in Tamaki Makoto. We did, and you did <laughs> not want to do it. I did not at all. But, you know, I think I look back, and um, I think it really did take a toll on my mental health as a young magatahi in elite sport. And yeah. so whenever I chat to young up-and-coming athletes, whether it's in Pukara or any other sport, I always do encourage them to, to create that balance so that um, yeah, yeah. You know, they don't necessarily go down the same um, same path, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you, I mean, let's be honest here, you were one of the, or if not the top junior at the time, you know? Oh, thank you. Eva. Yeah, and it was sad to see you stop. And was it because it was just overload? Did it, was it just too much pressure for you? Yeah, I think um, just in terms of where I was um, in my mental health space, it really, I think, if, I think given how I wanted to compete, mm -hmm. it wasn't actually conducive or supportive of um, me actually recovering into a space that was, I guess, facilitating of um, whole water health um, mm -hmm. and well-being. So yeah, I just had to pull back a bit, and yeah, this, I, I guess, I mean, I found my way into clinical psychology. So I'm yeah. now just doing mental health, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gone the other way. <laughs> but no, I love that I can still be a part of the Pukara, um community. Yeah. Um, even if it is just on a seat commentating some young people who I wish I was still as fit as. <laughs> oh, great shot. That was a great shot from Amy bit short of a clear from a Rosie Yang. Good serve.
Oh. Amy is really pushing Rosie into her forehand corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, this really is an awesome and exciting matchup of this pair. Coming up from behind. Exactly, read my mind. Oh, wow. Great choice from Rosie. Superb. Both these girls just have such beautiful shots, eh? Yeah. And you can hear they're hitting it quite clean. Yes. Good serve. Inside. It was a great serve. Also. It's 11 6 for Rosie. Leading into a Haurua Tanga is McLean's 11 points to 6. What would be your little tips for um, Amy? For Amy? Yes. I think it's working quite well putting Rosie under pressure in her forehand deep yep. corner. Yep. And I probably would keep doing that until yes. it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's always how I would do my problem solving on court, too. Yeah. And I think just to be ready to move, honestly, because yeah. Rosie is getting a lot of these shots back. Yeah. how there's different events in badminton which is singles mix and doubles yes do you think it's okay to specialize quite early mm, that's a great question and i think um i mean it does come into the the chats that um new zealand sport as a whole have actually been having around um balance is better and i think it is a really good not only balance is better across sports but within the sport as well mm. and i think you know, there is the there is the temptation to go into specialisation, but I mean, I think it's always good to minimise the pressure, especially on our younger ones coming through junior sports. Um, I mean, there definitely is pros, but mm -hmm. in terms of really just making sure that their enjoyment and their yeah. passion of the sport is protected and maintained. Yeah. Um, I think just play all the sports. Yeah. Like, play all the events. Yeah. That's so true, because you don't know what so you don't true, like. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. You don't know what you don't like. Or you don't know what you like either. Yeah. Both ways. And you like what, yeah, you don't like what you don't do. I don't know. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't specialize. You don't know early. what you don't know. Yeah, you don't know what you don't know. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. That's the one, son. <laughs> So if Rosie does win this match for McLean's, that will secure their spot to be a gold medalist. That is incredible. But it's not over yet, you know. Um, Amy is putting up a good fight. Amy is fighting for sure. And Amy has managed to put a point in for Palmerston North Girls. Can she repeat the feet. Yeah, can she bring it through to her takitahi? Her singles. Ooh, Rosie's done so well to stretch out Amy, but unfortunately she just put it out. Oh, Ooh. nice stretch there from Amy. 
Oh, an unlucky. Just a few centimetres too short for the Matira Tira. There's that punch clear. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, oh, love this driving. Oh! oh bringing some of those shots from her Takurua, her doubles through to her singles. Yeah. That's how I played my singles too. Yeah. But great jobs. Now sitting on 11 to 16. Amy's still very much in this. Good shot. Beautiful shot there by Rosie. Rosie's player profile as well, and um, her shout out is also to her cat, Sparky. <laughs> and this girl is a vibe because what she likes doing in her free time is eating and sleeping, which is definitely something I do. <laughs> <laughs> it is health. Health. Well, Waho, that is outside. Just long. Wow. I wonder how Sparky is doing. Oh, Amy's done well to get that. That was great yeah. defense. Ooh, just out. How's Sparky doing with our, um, his favorite um, owner? <laughs> Friend. Friend, yes. Companion. Companion, that's more beautiful. <laughs> and there we have it. Rosie takes the opening game, 21-12. The gold medal swaying into the graphs of McLean's, and it's up to this game here, or if we do go to a third game, on where that gold medal will settle. That's I like that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oh, gold I medal. Will <laughs> the gold medal will settle. Where art thou, gold medal? <laughs> <laughs> so, just a reminder, everybody, we are here on Fakata Māori. Obviously, you already know that because you have to be tapping into <laughs> this somehow. But my key reminder is that it is Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori on the 14th of September, and it is Māori Language Week, which is so exciting, because this year is the 50th anniversary since um, the, Māori, the Māori Language Petition, which is basically the petition to government to make Te Reo Māori uh, a national language in Aotearoa, which is so important. And it's 50 years since then, and it's been 50 years of a beautiful re revitalization of our indigenous language. So get on board. Head over to realmari.co.nz, um, or just in case I got that wrong, please just Google or look on Instagram Reo Māori and see how you can get involved in Tuiki or Te Reo Māori this year. Kapai, 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 paki paki. Thank you. Oh, beautiful cross there from Rosie. Wow, another cross there from Amy. Hoopa! Oh, that's actually quite loud, eh? <laughs> oh, Waho, just outside, just wide of those lines there. Oh, oh, it was well out. left, well left indeed. Both girls doing such good mahi to run, to chase, to follow the shuttle. Really making these po, po patu patu super long, super long. Do not have the fitness for this anymore, but <laughs> they do, and that's the main thing. Hey, but fitness can be worked on. Yes, yes. Aqua jogging. Aqua jogging. Oh, that was a good shot. Nice, uh, and I, I mean, look, just there, Amy did exactly what you said. You know, I think she could hear your little um, inspirational kōrero, which was to put the pressure on the backhand. And I mean, it's working. She is now up the lead for love. I mean, that's the way to go, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pressure on the backhand. 
one in the forehead. Oh! oh. <laughs> she would. <laughs> I don't think that was planned. <laughs> Wait, we take that part two apply. You that take good those. Shot. You take those. Indeed. <gasps> yes, nicely finished. She was pie. ready for that. She was ready. Good play, Amy. Good play. Good shot. Mm. Beautiful. Just finding the single sideline there. Tapa Taki Tahi. Can Amy maintain this lead? If it was going to be a point for point and you just what? win. Ooh. Oh, the co putty on that, that little cross. That was. That was beautiful from Rosie. I was just going to say if she can maintain this point, I mean this lead point by point, she will get to 21 first, but Rosie is saying no. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, well left, well left, Amy. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was Roto. That is in. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Beautiful shot. Cut to a pie indeed. Wahoo, that is outside. And Amy now just extending her lead 8 to 4. Rosie is still in this though. Beautiful. Ooh, that landed in. Finding the line there. The tapa kukuna. And going for a kukura change, a shuttle change now. Nice, nice way to break up. Break the up momentum. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Get a few more breaths in there. Yes. Oh, wahoo, just wide there. Oh, that's that punch clear. Oh, 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 oh. Hoppa. Are you getting dizzy of all these crosses? Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Um, I played singles recently. No, Is that recently. funny? Is that what's funny? <laughs> that's, you played that's singles. That's the funny part. <laughs> when I played singles, maybe for the first time since I did my knee. Yeah. And all I did was play straight and I was like, why am I getting wrecked? <laughs> <laughs> but the moment the moment I started doing crosses, I'm like, this makes sense. This yeah. is <laughs> single. You're playing half court singles. Yeah. Indeed, awesome, awesome fight from both girls and Amy just sneaking in to our halftime Hauru Tanga yep. on the lead. 11 points to 7. This is different, Justine. This is a different game. It is a different game. She is in the lead at halftime and she seems to be in control. Mm -mm. Do you think that perhaps this is where her experience is? Being the older player on court, you know, she's year 13, means she's been on, on, on the scene perhaps a little more, a bit more exposure it to is Rosie. Possible. Yes, it nine. is possible, but I believe that Rosie, you know, being a top junior, she is yes. also exposed to a lot and a Very lot high quality of games. as well, eh? Yeah. So, could be quite an even game, you know? And yeah, very much. Especially since um, Rosie is based in Auckland. Mm, mm, mm. There's a lot more tournaments and a lot more sparring there, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So, still in Rosie's, within Rosie's reach, but very much so. Amy can 
have a lot more experience too. Yeah. I mean, let's see. How long has Amy been playing for? She says she's been playing for eight years, and Rosie has been playing for five to six. So there's actually not that much of a difference true. in their very true in their badminton life. Very true. to be fired up after the um, after the coaching break. Yeah. I wonder what her coach told her to do. Woo! And it is 9-11. She is closing in that lead. Oh, ready, oh. ready, ready. Oh, it's still going, it's still going. Wow, Rosie is on fire. Rosie is on fire. What do you think her coach told her to do? Oof. <laughs> I just reckon re-center. I think um, maybe he just gave her a little um, nod to just, you know, refine what she was doing the first, the first game, which was yeah. just keep playing it simple. I mean, she's such a great player of such good skills yeah yeah and if it's just coming back to to those those shots you know yeah when you were a player Raina, what was the most common thing your coach said to you <laughs> really yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, what did my coach say um, just keep going just keep going did you tend to stop nah I think they were just more trying to soothe me <laughs> Oh, what a shot. Nice, nice. She has broken the run of Rosie Yang. Can she start her own run? Wahoo, that is just wide of right. our center line. Tafa Wainapu. Fourteen all, back to even. What a shot! Oh! Wow! Karawe, that was a beautiful turn off a Tuki, an attacking Daddy. shot from Rosie. Superb from Amy. Superb. You know that actually that deserves a kamo te wehi. That's outstanding. Oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful, great. beautiful. Waho, well, well left. left. And it is 16 14. She's taking the lead again. Rosie requesting for the Pukra to be changed, the shuttle. Oh. Good serve. Beautiful serve. Oh! Did they find? Or McLean's, I don't think you can call that line. She called it in. The coach called it in. I mean, the umpire called it in. Oh, the, the umpire called it in? Oh. oh, but we have some of our team players from um, Palmy on the sideline also calling it out. Wahoo. But it's the umpire's call. Yeah. So if she calls a let, they play a let. So a let has been requested by our umpire. 
Waho outside just wide there. And Amy creeps up onto 17-14, perhaps even taking this game. Oh, the Matira Tira going in favour of Rosie. Just helping that smash over. Eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fifteen, sorry. The score is eighteen fifteen. This is tight. Oh, the car has come through from Amy. Amy is really wanting that third game. Slipping into nineteen fifteen now. Here we go. What a shot. Oh, Otto, that is inside. And now she sits at game point 20 15. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 21 15. Kamote Wahi, that's outstanding work we have there from Amy to pull back yeah. from. Quite a different score in the first game. 21 12, she went down, and now she has come back 21 15. And she was up 14, um, I don't know, 14 11, 14, something like that, and yes. then managed to pull through, pull yeah. out of the comeback lead. And here we are with the third game in the number two singles. Yes, so this could very much be. Um, the tilting point for where, as I said before, poetically, the gold will settle. The gold will settle. But regardless, you know, um, McLean's have secured silver or gold, mm -hmm. which is one up more mm -hmm. or two up more. Two up more. <laughs> than the boys <laughs> in the McLean's college. getting a bit more energy. This is a very big singles game. The Ko Patu Patu, the rallies have been so long that I do not blame her for needing to sneak <laughs> in some Kai. Did you say banana was your go-to Kai? No, yours was banana. Oh, what was yours, oh. Lollies? No, I don't, I don't, I just hated eating. You hated eating. Like when I was um, when I was mid game, I think because I was always just so scared of having a stitch. Right. Were you not scared of getting cramps? I think because you never I'd, thought about it. I'd never had cramps. I'd only had stitches. All oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is a battle between our two girls here on court one. Oh. Waho, that is Outside. just wide. Good Beautiful shot. Beautiful slice. Oh. 
That was a bit of a hold, wasn't it, Justine? Yeah. Cool. And another little cheeky hold. Oh, oh. It's a copa to the control. Oh, there's a bit of a miscommunication there. So the linesman said in, but the umpire says out. Umpire says out. So we listen to the umpire. Yes. Our kaifakawa matua is the head of the court. Good recovery there from Amy. Oh. Oh. Oma, Oma. Wow, Ooh. left there, Rosie. Oh, oh girls good. are literally scrambling, yeah. giving everything on this court today. Settling at three all now. Oh, solid. What a shot. That is wide. Amy sneaking into a two point lead now. Five points to three. She likes the holds. She does actually really like the she like holds. Does, uh, she holds it and then she takes it quite low. <laughs> What's a comfortable uh, lead for you um, right now? No, two, three, four hard. points, five points, six points. I think points. my anxiety only stops at 21. So my, my tactic that I always found helpful in that was I would always just tell myself it's always level. Yeah, that's true. That's um, true. I try not to pay attention to the scores other than the fact of what side of the court to stand on. <laughs> but it's true. Every time I feel like a little bit of pressure, I'm like, okay, just level. Yeah, level. Yeah, I like yeah, level. Yeah. yeah. And even if I am in the lead, I always like to tell myself level just to, just to remain on... Um, well, I guess edge, but just to make sure that I don't settle too much. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, nicely played. Wow, superb shot from Rosie. Katsua Pai, good shot. Outside and it's seven all. Oh. Nice. Oh, wow. oh that That's was just out. wide. The right idea though for Rosie to put that pressure on Amy's back end. Correct. Nice! Ooh, outside. Yeah, Waho indeed. Well called their umpire. Ooh, great choice from Rosie. Control there. 
Rosie just so skillfully turning that shuttle, that Pupita, to settle on for 10 points to 8. Waho, oh, and we sorry. now lead into our final Hauruatanga, our final half time in this match between our number one girl singles of McLean's versus Palmerston North. Number two girl singles. Sorry. <laughs> you know, this is why we have a commentator. <laughs> co commentator. <laughs> That's right. I'm here. I'm here to, uh, to correct keep me, you in check. <laughs> to correct me when I'm wrong. I'm just here to sing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Free air time, you know? Yeah, free air time. <laughs> this is such an exciting game. 11 8. It's quite close, honestly. At this point, any anything can still happen. I mean, this was where. Um, Rosie was sitting. She was sitting on eight herself last time. Oh, yeah? And she fought back to go to 13-11. Wow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So a three-point lead is really not a lot because if you have, you know, serve one out, <laughs> comes two. Oh, I love that little subtraction. Of <laughs> three minus one. <laughs> Quick maths. Yeah. <laughs> one plus two is four. No, what is it? Two, two plus two, two is four. four. One Quick maths. <laughs> Why did you say one plus two? Because I always get confused yeah, between like, is it 19 or like. <laughs> you know, like, I, I can't remember. There's so many jokes these days if there the, are. Uh, with the youth. I, I get lost. <laughs> I think I know which one you're talking about. I'll take, what's 10 plus nine? 21. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Amy just retrieving the pukara, passing it back to Rosie. <laughs> Amy sneaking onto nine points here, closing the gap to two points. shot from Amy and she now comes to 10 points to 12. Oh. Nice. Nice control. Oh. Backhand. It was a great rally from both girls. It really was. Wow, Amy. Amy has scored quite a few points in that straight shot, yes. straight smash. Serena, when you were in this tournament, right? And yeah. it's so cool that you get to play from, with players from year 9 to 13. And I'm yeah. sure when you got to year 13, you had to play against people who were younger. Or when you were year 9, actually, let's say, let's put you in Rosie's oh, yeah. position. Yeah. Uh, what were you thinking when you knew you had to play <laughs> against year 13s? I just remember, because um, obviously I would have been my first year of under 15s. And so year 13, that places them in under 19. So they're some of our top juniors in New Zealand. And I remember back in that day, it was the likes of um, 
Oh, Susanna Leyden Davis. Oh yeah, she yeah. She's playing for Hillcrest in Waikato. And um, you know, growing up, you had these these older players, kind of like heralded, as you know. Yeah. Um, and I remember back in there in my day, Victoria Cheng played for McLean's, and she was phenomenal. Um, and I just remember being year nine and coming into that space and just being like, oh my goodness, I would never have the chance to play against these top under 19 players in any other sphere except yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then also I got to play with um, the likes of Melissa Yin. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got to play with them, which yeah, is amazing. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and Anona Peck, who just got back from Commonwealth Games, as well as Anona's sister, Aviva. Um, so, yeah, just really special just getting yeah. to play across those age groups, which is something that doesn't usually happen. Yeah. It's an awesome opportunity. And I can imagine you were still winning your games at that time too, like in number four singles. <laughs> number four? Oh, were you <laughs> not? <laughs> I'm kidding, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if you were with. <laughs> yeah, I was with um, the top under 19s. So I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Let um, Pepe Brainer come through, please. 19 13. Oh, another. Oh, I was just going to say another oh, one. Wahoo, she missed out. it this one, this time. This could be the gold medal point here. Oh, Koto is still alive. She's still alive. Palmerston North fighting still. 20, 14. 14, 20. 20, no I'm kidding, yeah. 14, <laughs> 20. <laughs> Waho just Five. out and we sneak onto 15, 20. And, and there we go. go! Talk us through that gold medal moment, please, Justin. Oh, and it was an awesome game. And Amy has done well to try and keep the Palmerston North Girls High School alive and running for that gold medal match. But Rosie was just too strong. And it, honestly, there were a lot of exchanges between Rosie and Amy. Amy's won quite a few shots just down the line. And... Rosie was just really, really, really in the zone to win that gold medal for McLean's. And it has been an awesome, awesome week for them. And there's still another girls singles to play, but just to acknowledge the winners in gold, silver, and bronze, we will also acknowledge the Sportsmanship Award. So we are heading over to Reina now to award the Sportsmanship that is sponsored by Caltex. Kia ora e ho, thank you so much. So yes, I am joined here by Ella from Newlands College. And Ella is our winner for the Caltex Good Sports Award. Congratulations, Ella. Now, the really special thing about this, and I just want to hope that you know how awesome this award is, is that actually you're being voted by other teams from other schools for your sportsmanship, that you actually did things this week that actually made other players feel special, felt valued, and I think you're actually someone that we want to celebrate in this sport. So congratulations, Ella. What has been um, your highlight of this week? Um, I think just like catching up with my friends from around the country because we've made quite a few friends through badminton, so yeah. getting to see them again has been really good. Oh, that's so cool. The friendships that I know I made through badminton have been awesome and lifelong friendships. So congratulations. Thank you for making this week so special for all the other students here. So well done. Well done. Thank you. And so, yes, also big thank you to Caltex for sponsoring this goodies. And now Ella gets to go away and celebrate with her team with a whole Caltex bag full of drinks, treats, Kai and all sorts so well done Ella well done I'm sure Newlands and your team and your teachers will be very proud but until then we're going to go on a short break and we'll be back for our last match of this girls final take care run to the Fari Paku and see you very soon e te iwi, the Kumara Avengers are here <laughs> keeping Kumara farm safe everywhere
Latino Rohingya to Thai Manu Kone. Te Pa Mu Kumara. Streaming now only on Maori Plus. Whoops, running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. You found the place. That's a good start. Built by my great grandfather. E ki te rā kōa e ngā tino kaitākoro ke mua roto i te ao Māori and apparently te koutou tērā. He te ringa hau, rā e ki te ārai i pūrangi. E ka mā mati ke maranga nau mai haere mai. E ke panuku ki Māori Plus. Kia ora koutou and welcome back to our final match of this final tie. It is currently McLean's gold medal is secured at four matches to one, but we have Palmerston North Girls High School still fighting for it. Um, they've put up, if we flick back to the current matches so far, um, we have McLean's who took out doubles two, singles four, three and two, and then we have Palmy who is fighting to solidify a second match on their win after taking out doubles one. But let's head on to the court now where our girls are ready to take it. So representing um, McLean's, we have Josephine and we have Isabella representing Palmer Sindor. Mm. 
Now, if you're unfamiliar with how um, the New Zealand Secondary School Nationals work, the rangatahi slash teams have actually been here since Monday. So they've had a whole week away down here in Purirua, which is just north of Te Whanganui Atara, Wellington. Um, and it is the final day, it is the fourth day of matches and gameplay. And if you are just tuning in this match only, McLean's have just settled themselves into the gold medal place. So huge ngamahi and congratulations to those girls. Um, but nonetheless, a huge congratulations as well to our silver medalists, um, Palmerston North girls. And let's see if Isabella can bring their, her team onto a 2-4 final score for their last games. that is outside point for point so far mm, mm. who's gonna ooh. who's going to take the, the big lead first edge away or is it going to be point for point throughout the end now nah, let's go for point for point <laughs> oh don't jinx it it's six floors now isn't it oh it has we have an edge that that is Vangi Toto in the background with the final cheers. Yep, so I believe maybe this is probably one of the last matches, if not the last match for the whole tournament. Yes. Just on the back court, on court two, we have Wellington East girls doing their last match up against, well not last match, but last tie up against St. Orans. So two um, Te Whanganui Atara schools, but I believe that is Division 2. I am kidding, they're not Division 2. They are actually playing off for the bronze medal um, in Division, in Division one. 1, correct. Oh, Waho, that is outside there. Nine six here, Josephine leading by three. That was a great shot from Josephine. Mm. So I believe Josephine is actually what the number one in her age group. Really? Yeah. Beautiful. And that's obviously under 15s. If she's year nine. Yeah. Potentially. I c you know what? I actually don't back myself anymore. I could be so wrong, but she is definitely one of the top ones. That's very <laughs> cool. I believe you. She is an extremely talented um, young player. Yeah. So um, the way that badminton has worked previously for junior badminton, at least in Aotearoa, is we have obviously our school competitions, but then usually what our players are more used to is playing in their association teams. So that is teams like North Harbour, Auckland, Wellington, um, Hutt Valley, yeah. Melbra, um, Canterbury, which is where Justine actually pays homage to, Canterbury. Yeah. Um, and then from there, they also break into regions. So some of them would combine into the northern region, which is from Bay of Plenty and Waikato upwards. Yeah. And then obviously central region, which is basically the central plateau. So Taupo downwards. And then you have mainland, which is the whole of the South Island. Um, so yeah, on court today, we have a matchup between central region represented by Isabella from Palmerston North Girls and Northern Region with McLean's and Josephine. Yep, so I'm just I just pulled out the under fifteen girl singles and of course girl singles Josephine is number one wow. for under fifteen. That's awesome. Yes. And she is with Harbour or North Harbour? Uh, she's she's with Auckland. 
I thought she played for Harbor. Oh, I'm just asking, is she a little papa? I've seen her play at Harbor. I'm pretty sure she's Harbor. She trains at Harbor. Auckland. She's an Auckland player. I've definitely seen her in a Harbor shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone wants a Harbor shirt, right? <laughs> but the thing is, she is also number three in the under-17 girls singles. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Eleven twelve now, Isabella just getting back in there. And now it's twelve all tied again. So as we talked about in our Takiroa, our doubles with um, that also featured Isabella. She is year 13, so this is her final New Zealand Secondary Schools um, National Championship after three other times that she's come through, which if you think about it, take away the two years of COVID, that she would have been playing every single year since year nine as well. Mm. So this is really cool, just seeing, I guess, um, how all our junior players do have the opportunity to come through and do their journey from year nine all the way to their final senior year at high school, which I'm sure is what we're going to see with the likes of Josephine and the rest of us McLean's team. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Justine? Correct. And I don't see events slowing down anytime soon, so you can imagine this will be played again next year and the year after that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do you know what um, one of the translations are for let's go in Te Reo Māori? What is it? Rehe koho. Rehe koho. Yeah. Mm. That's painted. In, that paint. What paint? Painted. Painted. Patented. I can't say that word, but anyway, um, <laughs> coined by um, Ada by Kamayo. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Is that the fact of the day today? Yeah, fact of the day, day, day. 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 No, we can't day. do that. Oh, we can't. <laughs> we can't, can't, we can't, we can't. We, can't. <laughs> we cannot, we cannot. We were actually saying um, <laughs> face of the day, yeah. face of the day. <laughs> but I do love ZM. Lotho inside, beautiful shot. Patua Pai there from um, McLean's 18-16. So which age group would you say was your favorite to play? Ooh, under 17. Oh, that was a very, very quick answer. Yeah. Why yeah. was it under yeah. 17? Yeah. I think Is it because it's, uh, tournaments are usually quite big? Because you know in 19, mm. it does... Um, Taper out. Eh? Yeah, it does, it does. Yeah, I'd say it was like a really nice balance between, um, you know, having frequent tournaments, but also getting to begin um, more international tournaments mm -hmm. and representations. Um, so, yeah, just such a cool mix there. And I just found that, yeah, those are my best years, to be honest. Um, we met under 17s. Did you know that? Yes, 2011 at Palmy. I remember that. Yeah. Do you remember that? First year of yeah. uh, badminton. Yeah, 2011. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> what, was your what has been your favourite trip with badminton, Justine? Um, Suderman would, be, would have to be one of them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Where Suderman. was that? 2019 in China. Wow. Oh, that's right. And you guys got delayed. Yeah. So apart from that. <laughs> Did it that, take you like a week to get home? It took us like 66 <laughs> hours to get home. Wow. It was supposed to be like a 16-hour trip. It became 66. Oh, my goodness. How insane. Oh. Beautiful shot there from Josephine. Taking it. 21-19, the opening game. There we have it. Well done, Josephine. Play is just going into a reset now. 66 hours, man. 
I know. That's a long time ago. It really was, and like, it was just a combination of all cancellations mm. and just delays. It was. Was this during COVID times? No, it was right before. So it was oh, the so year you, before. You were all trying to beat. Co- it was basically trying to beat COVID back into the, no, the no, country. No. Um, so it, oh, it was just dramatic for no reason. Yeah, it was just dramatic. It was just Air China, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, we weren't trying to be COVID. There was a COVID didn't exist, or we weren't true, aware of exist. True, um, true, true. Yeah, we didn't know about it. Yeah, yeah. how? That's such a that's such a foreign time. I eh? know, right? Yeah, yeah. I actually just booked my um, first international flight since COVID. Where to? Literally just just before. I to, saw you. I know to on Whipjet to um, <laughs> Melbourne to go oh, see my brother. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, very cute. Very cute. I you know, better go see him and Gronya. Gronya is also just, so Gronya is my sister-in-law who just um, sister-in-law. I love how you say that. <laughs> They've been together now through um, for what eleven years. So that's another thing that you can get through Pemberton is a lifelong partner. Apparently. So my brother played for New Zealand, so Aotearoa, and his girlfriend Gronya played for Australia. And they met in Fiji on an Oceania Junior Championship. <laughs> and apparently, they're, they're in it. They're in it for the how long haul. How long? 11 years. Or how long am I going for? No, no, no. Oh, sorry, I wanted to talk about me again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's served out for Josephine. And here we have Isabella now settling into the first point of the game. Oh, One nice. Love. High serve. That was a good serve. There's a lot of very nice serves here. Oh! 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 my goodness! <laughs> what a Pachua shot. Pie. That is, oh my goodness. That is an eye. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, oh. Isabella, you do whatever you want. I'm still a, a, astounded by that back <laughs> You know how you ask me how do I do my back end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bother asking me. Ask Isabella. Yeah, it'll pull that also found the line. I'm just still, I'm still thrilled <laughs> by that back end. That was beautiful. That was a peeler. <laughs> Absolute peeler. Mm. Wahoo, just out there. Not quite clipping the lines of um, Tafa Takitahi, our single sideline. Oh, that looked good to me. That looked good. Yeah, that is beautiful, Kapai. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, there it is, Josephine. There it is. Karawe. It's really cute with the McLean's uh, team. When they do their shout outs, it's either to their parents or, or their, their cats. cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that Waho, that was out indeed. Who would you give a shout out to, Reina, if you Who? had to give one? Who would I give a shout out? How about you go first? Oh, we've already done our shout outs. We did it to um, Buffer and Millie. <laughs> yeah, to our dog. Yeah, to our cootie. Cootie. Oh, beautiful there from Josephine. Whoa. Nice shot. Mm, mm. That was a nice shot from Josephine. Oh, actually, I do have a I do have a shout out. If I had a shout out, I'd do it to Victor Axelson, <laughs> um, my 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 good friend from um, Denmark, Denmark, who just won world championships <laughs> and has won gold in like, Olympics. Yes, and who also viewed my LinkedIn profile. <laughs> <laughs> what a flex! <laughs> No, nah, but I mean, I don't personally know him, but I mean, Victor, if you're watching this, um, I'm sure that Angatahi and Aotearoa would be so thrilled to know that um, you somehow found your way onto Fakanta Māori and maybe are even picking up some Kupu Māori as well to put into your kitty. I mean, he is also fluent in Mandarin. He is yes. very fluent in yeah. Mandarin. That's why how. 
Oh, what hole was that out? Yes, that was out. There's a hole. Oh. Yeah. And Josephine settling onto 11 7 now. So our final, final, final Kaurua Tanga. Unless we go to three games. But, you know. Josephine's looking solid. Josephine does look like she has a, a very good lead of yeah. 11 to 7. And if she continues to perform how she is playing mm -hmm. right now, honestly, I think she is ready to close this match. Unless. Unless there's another backhand. Or, 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 like, from or the coach about. from the Palmerston North Girls has magic words. Who hey, can? Isabella, just do another backhand. That's his magic word. Yeah. yeah. I actually still can't. That, is, that for me is the shot of um, the tournament. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. Phenomenal. Should we say your um, favorite word? What is my favorite word? So if Josephine... Oh, skucks. No, no, no. Oh. If Josephine <laughs> wins this... She will solidify. Oh, solidify. <laughs> I know. I actually, believe it or not, I don't think anyone um, of our, our whanau who are tuning in would believe me. I never, ever say the word solidify. <laughs> Literally never. I have never had any use for it in any other sentence until apparently my anxiety peaks on air. Isabella now on eight points to 12. I feel like I say it quite a bit too when we're on air. Yeah. Like you just say random words you don't end up saying and yeah. that's just out. Solidify, like what? Are you, that's a fake word, isn't it? <laughs> Solidification. Up, oh, unlucky. There's good movement though. Rakete not there just in time though. But good hustling there from Isabella. Well done to Josephine. She's really making her run those full court diagonals. Mm. Wahoo outside, well left there, Josephine. Well left. Yeah, Isabella is just struggling to find the length. I think she's hitting quite a lot out at the back. See, to have so much kaha is both a blessing and, and a curse. A curse. You would know, right? I would. I really would. <laughs> To have talent is both a blessing and a curse. To be good at everything, oh, just for you, right? Both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> <sighs> Must be tough to be you, Reina. Yeah. Good shot. Oh, beautiful there from Josephine. Karawe. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes, very well placed there by Isabella. Oh, Patsua. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Good shot. Oh, wow, just long there. Just falling past. Our tapa tukunga for our long service line. Oh wow, that was there was, that was no slosh. A slosh. It was a slosh of heaven, wasn't it? <laughs> if it went over, it would have been. Oh, it still it would it would it be as good as the backhand you saw? Oh man, that backhand actually, I'm going to remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> Please mention it at my tangi, even though I didn't play it. Beautiful shot there by Isabella. Pumping out a 13 now. Really just fighting for every point, and we love it. Kia Manawanui. Hold on there, sis. Yes. Nice shot. Beautiful little combo we had there. Nice. Oh, good little combo oh, there from nice. Josephine now. That. It's a close Match call. Point. That was a close call. <laughs> wow. wow, and they have it. 
McLean's. 21-14, 21-19. What has been your highlight of this gold-silver playoff? Please, Justine, enlighten us in what. Um, like you, I think I believe that backhand was pretty insane. And honestly, it was good to see um, at the start. McLean's had a strong start, but then Palmy had the answer and won a point and put a point on the board for Palmerston North in their number one women's doubles. And But... McLean's just showed strong, you know, for the singles. And there was a tight one between Rosie and Amy. But again, McLean's just followed through and came through. It's really good to see these young girls play at a high level. Again, giving competition to these, you know, year 13, year 12, year 10. And it's amazing what um, training can do. And I really hope they continue to play and love the sport and enjoy it. So... Now we're going to throw it to Reina, who is going to interview the winners of the Girls Division 1 of the New Zealand Secondary School Championships. Kia ora e hoa, thank you for that. Um, so I am here with Josephine, who is freshly, freshly off that court. How good of a match you played. Well done, Josephine. It was beautiful. Some of the combos you had in there. I'm very impressed. I am very, very impressed. I was low-key, very much on the edge of my seat there. Some very nice um, um, putua that you had there. Or, But anyway, how does it feel to know that your team, a full team of year nines, your first year in high school, took out the New Zealand Secondary School Championships? How does that feel? I think it feels really good, of course. I think everyone played really well, and then, like, it was really fun to support each other and like just cheer on each other. Yeah. Oh, well, your whole entire cuppa did so well. Your whole team. Honestly, it has been a pleasure to watch you today. And um, what would be some of your messages to some of the other teams that you got to come up against or all around Aotearoa this week? Um, like... Like, give them a message? Yeah, 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 give them a message. Um, I think you guys all played really well and I think you just keep on training hard and get prepared for next year. Yeah, awesome. And I'm sure we'll see you again next year, maybe for the next four years, maybe. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Congratulations to your team, Nga Mahi, And a huge, huge well done to you, Josephine, and your team. Congratulations to my claims. And so to those at home... Thank you so much for joining us here today with the McLean's winners, our gold medalists for the girls division and not only for today but the whole entire week whether you've been watching on Fakata Māori or following online. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Last thank you to our sponsors of Caltex, Apollo Projects, Baileys, New Zealand Carbon Farming and of course Fakata Māori for hosting us here. Remember to get involved with Te Wiki o Te Reo Māori but under, nonetheless Thank you so much. Go have a good day. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you.